as far as division yeah. for us. But yes. whatever happens, yes, it's going to be a woman on the Democratic side, people. It is. You think so? They lined up. Oh, they man. Set. It's too they many candidates. Up. Women, it's too many women again. Women on one they're, page. they're not. But see, that's, you know I mean? that's just the primaries. Yeah. So they're going to whittle them all. Yeah, down. yeah. Like, gonna, yeah, that's the prime. Yeah. Early. It's basically two years but before the election. Time, though, yeah, yeah. Yo. It's time they get people building momentum they, for the they real are. guy. Yeah. They Who's are. the real guy? They are. They're they going to be fighting Trump. They're they fighting Trump. They yeah, they, fighting that's Trump. what the yeah. um, whole big bat, because this dude will slip around, slip slip up, and he'll be in there again. Like, he can. So he right. He right. He right. Y'all don't think Russia cheated? No, yeah. no Russia mess with oh, the That's what they say. They did. They did. He only won by seventy thousand votes. And there was a time I was, I was bitching that black people in Michigan, black yeah. people in Wisconsin didn't yeah. vote, and that's yeah. why yeah. we got yeah. Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was bitching it. Man, all these all these yuppie white people yeah. was voting for Jill Stein and and, and writing it in Bernie. Yeah, and that's why he got those extra seventy. Word, word, word. Yeah, yeah I believe it was the Russians. Yeah, because <laughs> we see different. <laughs> I want yeah. to listen. I want to. I, I want to see an indictment of Trump's kids. Right, yeah. you know, yeah. I want to see Eric Trump explain why he's got a meeting he's with, meeting the Russians. with Russians yeah. who are and and then Paul Manafort's giving them polling data. What do you think they're gonna do with it? Yeah, that's right. They put in all kinds of uh, 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 Facebook ads and yeah, and and and, and created and, and fake created accounts, creative accounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's racial caused tension. all kinds of racial tension. That's the first it's, time it's been done, though. So was, whenever it's the first time, you gotta expect that type. You know? Do you well, remember two years it. ago? Yeah. All of a sudden, everybody was mad at Hillary for calling for calling uh, black people uh, 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 predators. predators. Uh, predators. Yeah, uh, what's their name? Super predators. predators right? Yeah, yeah, yo, that's right. Now we, we realize that yeah. the Russians was putting it out there. Like, yeah, yo, like that. Yeah, we got that. It was putting up all kinds of ads. We had black people all over the country talking about oh, fuck Hillary. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Word, up, word up, word up, word up. Yeah, yeah. Fuck and, and, you. And, come yep. and come to find, like it was something. They was she don't, said. They was screening. She said a couple of things. Yeah, a lot of white people are secretly racist. Mild races, you yep. have extreme races, you have low, low yep. races where you gotta basically punch them in the mouth for them to say nigger. Talk to them. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's just they, institutional races that they don't even yes. realize that it's just they, like Yeah, 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 yep, exactly. Just, if you ask them, they would be like, no. And I and I run into a lot of people like that. And I listen, I run into people who are totally not racist. That's like, right. Facts, totally not facts. racist. A yes. lot of them are not hard. They're not. not they're like, they're not. Right? Yes. And, but at the same time, there's a lot of them that also don't want you talking about it. That's right. Yeah. Flippable. Yeah, right? yeah. Talk they, about they it. They be like, I'm not a racist. And no, everybody's not. We're all green or whatever they say to me. They're That's all, right. We're all cool. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. But I'm not talking about you. Yes. But I need to talk about them, too. Yes, yes. And those, those are the ones that cause people like me problems. They don't That's cause right. people like me problems. You yeah, know, yeah. yeah somebody else's problem. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I never heard him say nigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you supposed to say to you? Yeah. You're never Say that yeah, to you. To you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. We all got I that white friend that's been in the room when your supervisors was going in, or your coworkers were going in on another race, whether it's black mm -hmm. or whatever. That's right. And or made a comment and hit them like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those freaking yeah. white guys. It's like, like yeah. And, and that one coworker come back and be like, yo, don't trust uh, Joe. That's right. Don't trust yeah. uh, such Tom such. in yeah, the office. Yeah, yeah. Don't trust Mary Lynn or so Mary Beth. It's right. more of a mental, no, you're saying I, it's yeah, more of a yeah, mental, they play this game with mental, you, um, like, out, which hand is in, and they know mm -hmm. whatever, you know what I mean, they don't have it in hand, and it's not for you, so they be like, yo, I don't have it in no hand, but you like, it's in that hand, like some sucker <laughs> stuff, and right, they, they, yeah, they no, playing I, mind I, games, I, I, mind I get game. along, I get along with, with, with everybody, to be honest with you, yeah, me too, I, 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 don't, I don't really care. Yeah, you know, especially in person. But you can address Talk, it. Talking about yeah, you can address it if you see it. Yeah, you know I mean? can, yeah, I can, yeah, exactly. That's how I am. I, I can get along, and, and to be honest with you, I don't care what race you are. Yes, I'm usually cool until you rub me wrong. Yeah, and it, yeah, wrong, it yeah. Let me bring that. Right. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I'm kind of done. Do that. You know? That's what I'm talking about. I, I just don't like people in general. <laughs> hey, nah, yeah. 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 I ain't gonna lie, right? They, Ed and Ed's girlfriend, she's Italian. Yeah. And she called me racist. She called you a racist? She called me a racist because you know why? Why? I know the ins and outs of my people. Yeah. You be talking shit you know about black saying? people. Yeah, like, he, go, he know, go in. Listen, I know when we had a He go in. You know what I mean? 
what kind of event we gonna have, I know what kind of trouble we had. That's right. I, I'm walking around, could you not smoke cigarettes in here? Yeah. Please, sir, not in the temple. Can you not smoke cigarettes? That's now I'm right. just taking cigarettes out of niggas' hands. Pants, yeah. Nah. Then they looking up like, man, what you doing? Yeah. Man, we done told you stupid ass. Stop smoking. Now, yeah, you're right, you're now, right. So like, you're I mean, enforcing. We don't, how come we don't deal with this? When uh we have the rock band over. Here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of shit. I'm not racist. I just need people to act better. Yeah, be better. right. At least, yeah. That's us right. Better, you know what I mean? I ain't better than nobody. And that's like, let me ring that. I do it. I do it, y'all. I ain't you know bring my mean? glasses, so I can't read up. Uh, I can't read what's Mike, up now. Yeah, Mike Ingram said, um, what part of awareness or political shit Mike that Ingram. keeps you somewhat grounded? Man. All right, how I Poverty. answer that one? <laughs> yeah, the re- <laughs> yeah, the re- yeah. I was gonna say the reality in my pockets. <laughs> I know, I know. When I'm talking to a politician, he just throw. If I write him something, he just throw it away. Ain't no check in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, when it all comes down to, it, I don't care if they like me, joke me, or whatever. That's right. And I put a, 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 a paycheck in a, a, a check. Yeah, in the in the political account. Yeah, you know, I'm you know, just, it ain't coming just, back in yeah, your favor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody right? Nobody got time to waste. It's like yeah. that. The world revolves around that money, man. But I do, the worst I do get ever, people man. to. I do get people to. The, the, the politicians kind of do kind of pay attention to me. On yeah, they that's, do. That's they that's do. The funny part they about do. it. If I'm down there around the state house. Yeah. They coming. White man. dudes in suits come talk to me, and half the time I don't know who they are. But a lot of a lot of people, just a lot you of know? people, take a liking to you. Like yeah. I don't care what color they are, but a lot of people take a liking to you. A lot of people enjoy your story. A lot of people like they just listen to you. They'll follow you in the whole yeah. nine. Yo, you know you're right about the prison system, my man, Justin. Yeah. Keeping the keeping the uh, keeping racism around. Yeah. There's more than just the. The prison system, even like when we talk about marijuana legalization now. Yeah, yeah. They're, yo, they're taking people that already got them records, the felonies, and they're just transferring it into this. I'd I be mean, like, they're swapping out races, mm-hmm. uh, prohibition for races legalization. They're using yeah. the same numbers and advantages they got in in, 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 in prohibition to, to, to switch it. Yeah, here. and yeah, you know? just like the lottery yeah. and therefore the and same way. Yeah, they're treating everybody. You know, like certain neighborhoods. Listen, I gotta tell you something. I didn't grow up in Trenton, yeah. but here's what I remember thinking about: cities like Trenton, Newark, Camden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That 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 certain, I'll say, forces mm-hmm. use those areas as as the catching fields yeah. for the new age concrete plantation system. Yeah. And that's that's what's going on that's too. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's that's right. right. That's that's that is. That's, 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 that's what that's that's it is. It's and it's like, like a generational thing because it's ongoing yeah. until now, right? Yeah. That's even, what even now with them making this legal that you think okay ain't nobody going to weed don't no, go to jail for weed no more. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mad people still All you want have to do is have more than fifty grams of weed again, and you're now you're distributing, and you're still going to prison because prison. only the only rich weed. white guys yeah, yeah, are, some, going, yeah. are selling weed. weed. They're wow. the only ones allowed to sell weed. Now you- Man. If you have a joint or two, yeah, all right, legalization is cool for you. Yes. If that's yes. all you ever want to do is smoke your smoke a Small joint or two piece, and mind yeah. your business, you, you could. You're going to like this. That's right. Right? That's right. But yeah. somebody wants to hustle a little weed. Yeah. Yo, how, what about the people who buy a quarter pound of weed? Yeah. Four ounces for y'all. Yeah. Don't understand. Yeah. yeah. Right? Talk to them. And, and, and you sell three of them with a little tax on it mm-hmm. so that you get yours for free. That's right. Technically, it's still distribution. That's right. You know, and everybody in the weed culture knows you're just trying to smoke for free. Yeah. You know, get your people something to, light. Yeah. yeah, get your people to pay for it. Yeah. Right. But that and that's very prevalent. But you know what? You know how many people got felony records because of that? They got caught with that quarter pound before they got rid yeah. of it. Me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, mad people. Yeah. yeah. That's they gave me a, a sixty-five thousand dollars bail Damn. for QP. For something Dude. light, yeah, that's yeah. light, man. Really, yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. light. But, but that that's happens to a lot of people. Felony. Yeah, I got caught with a QP. So. Two years, what? Two years ago? That's like, re- not like like longer than that. Couple longer years? That. Yeah, yeah, like probably like five years. That's really. I've been staying out of trouble, man. Like, for a minute, yeah, you yeah. you have. You ain't been you, you ain't been in the way. Shit. And that was our you That was just petty shit. You know how they play it. You know how township play. My first big weed bus was forty pounds. It was, it was, it was, it was forty pounds of a two hundred pound load. 
How many, listen, how many have you gotten off? Oh, I've got plenty Can we off. talk about that yeah, or you don't want to go into that? Talk to him. Yeah, What's the biggest amount? Yeah, it, ain't, it's, yeah. it is. It's, it's a limitation Yo. on it, is it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Listen, listen let, me, let, me, yeah. let me tell you. I, 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 got, I got lucky. Yeah. When I, I accidentally became a big weed dealer by accident. Yeah, word <laughs> up like that? That's kind of how it happened. Look, I was a truck driver. Yeah, in I remember that. Or so. Yeah. I was in, I was in Phoenix. I had about three thousand dollars of truck money in my pocket, uh -huh. maybe four thousand, mm -hmm. right in my truck. Mm -hmm. And I was visiting one of my cousins who grew up in Woolenboro, but his mom and them moved to Phoenix, and he moved with him. Oh, so yeah. I hadn't seen him in years. So bam, I got out. Stop by when you're going across town. Me yeah, going across states. Our, I mean. Yeah, me and him smoked our first joint together when we was fourteen or fifteen in Jersey. So of course I'm out there with him, like you know, that's just so yeah, weird. Yeah, doing us. Right? Yeah, you doing us. Like, yo, yeah. it was like. I said something about, like, let's go some weed or something. I think I said I had some money. I think I tried to hand him, like, 100 or 200 dollars. He was like, man, you can get a pound for three. I was wow. like, what? 91, right? Hey, I was in Phoenix. I was <laughs> like, what? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, for real? Yeah. yeah. I got the pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm looking at it like, oh, shit. Yeah, I just got this for 300 pounds. Word. Like, yeah, 300 dollars. I was like, man, I can get this off for 1,000 at home. Yeah. Um, you got ten of these? Like that? <laughs> wow! Yeah, wow! I had, like three, I had a little bit more than three thousand dollars on me. Yeah, yeah. So Damn. you got like ten and joints. Dude made a deal. He's like, he sold me ten pounds a week for three three thousand dollars. When you uh, came back, how much you knocked the pound off for? I came back and got thirty. Damn! <laughs> yeah. And then a, a thousand, months later, a stack of yeah. pieces. Yeah. A couple months later, I got a hundred. Damn! And then that's what I kept doing every so often. Often. I was doing a <laughs> hundred, and and that's how people in Camden knew me. Like, man, this dude disappears. And Come yeah, back, come back. You got, got 40, thousands. 50, you got all kinds of pounds. Damn. And then, then the greatest thing ever happened to me. Talk to him. These Mexicans I was dealing with, they was already calling me Jersey by this time. Yeah. They knew I was from Jersey. Jersey but yeah. they tried to front me a couple bricks or something. I yeah. didn't know what it was. Some I didn't garbage want to take it. it. Some no, dirt no, no, weed. Some, no, some heroin or something. Oh, some some shit. cocaine, big ass blocks. No, they they yeah. give it some to, something in the low. Yeah. They tried to give <laughs> it to me to get Yeah, they do open them. Yeah. Like, yo, you can get rid of this in you Jersey too, them, right? Yeah. I was like, nah, man, nah, I can't do that. And I was like, I, I turned it down. Yeah. So then that's when they started calling me Jersey Weed. Weed, man. man. Like, wow. Know, does weed. Yeah. yeah. From Jersey dude. He only yeah. does weed. You know? So I was no cool. No cocaine, my man. <laughs> but but they, like, they like me. Yeah. And then here's what happened. This white dude from Cleveland yeah. went out there with $200,000 or something yeah. and bought all the weed. Damn. From the dudes that I know, so no, I was yeah. out there to get a little bit of weed, thirty yeah, pounds nothing. or something. They was like, "Man, you got weed here, man. We gotta get some more." This white dude came and bought all the weed. And I was like, "Okay." So I was just hanging around for a couple of days, having a good time, listening to uh, like, "Yo, you want to make a lot of money?" I said, like, "Hell yeah!" Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know that dude who pulled up all the weed? He's like, yeah. He said his driver quit. So oh, we ain't shit. giving him his money back. <laughs> oh <laughs> He's shit. stuck in Arizona with all this weed. And he's yeah. like, yo, you you wanna drive? We'll hook you up. Yeah. And I hooked up with him and, and they was like, he was like, you can rip him off. You Whatever you want. They <laughs> said that, yeah, they said. You got money, you put it on your truck, and you can go left if you want. Wow. That's what they told me. Yeah. But yeah, I talked yeah. to the dude, I was like, I didn't want to do him do like him that. Dirty. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. He yeah. told me he'd give me twenty five percent of the load. Wow, okay. So I was like, hmm, twenty five percent of the load, I gotta get it to Ohio though. Yeah. And I drove it to Ohio. Yeah. I didn't get scared until I was right in the suburbs of Cleveland. I started oh thinking, my gosh, yeah. wait a minute, am I getting ready to ride up into somebody else's investigation? Yeah, yeah, because it's like They that. know it's on the way, but yeah, they yeah. don't know where it's coming from. All of a sudden, I show up and start unloading my truck, and I get abreasted, so I remember I was Word scared up. of that. Or I get there, they go, fuck that 25%. How about take this 25 cap in the head, pat? Yeah, yeah, like, all so that. Yeah, it go dirty, all those yeah. Things, so that's when I got nervous, right? Yeah, yeah. But then, Everything worked out fine. Dude shook my hand. He was so happy that I saved him the rest of it. He thought the Mexicans was going to rip him rip off. Him off yeah. They was they going to. do, yeah. They was going to. Mm -hmm. It was in the air. It was. It was yes. in the air. They was contemplating it when they like, oh, you want to make a couple dollars? I was yeah, like, yeah. And they told me I 
that could do. Doing, yeah, they go. Yeah, they really didn't like that guy. They wasn't going to fall for it. If I, if they, if he let them put this on my truck and I decide to go to Jersey, yeah, he, they wasn't going to fall. Yeah, they, they didn't mind what, which way it went. They had their money already. Wow. They was trying to help him a little bit to save a little face. But anyway, long story short, yeah. When I drove out of Cleveland, I had like 115 pounds of weed. It was all mine. Yeah, yeah. I called my brother to tell him, deal. I'm on my way. Told what happened. Yeah. And I still had the money that we had all put in together to go do something. I so sell. what you do with the but bread? Had, what you do had, with the bread? Man, I bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a house. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, some of my family members, listen, you know what the crazy thing is? Yeah. I, I mixed the weed in with a real legitimate load of cantaloupe. Yeah, yeah. So my family for years used to joke about cantaloupes. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, yo, when you get another load of cantaloupes, you know what I mean? Like, it was a family joke, because it was like, oh, man, this dude brought a cantaloupe. He brought home a, dr- a, a truck full of cantaloupes. Yo. I, I went to my mom's house to unload it. So I yeah. parked my truck in front of my mom's house. Threw a couple cantaloupes out. My mom was like, oh, what do you bring home? I was like, cantaloupes. And then when Can- she put the cantaloupes in the house, my brother was putting other kinds of boxes in the truck, <laughs> in his truck, and drove away. Yo. And then all of a sudden, bam, buying houses and cars and shit. Where that started up <laughs> yeah, from there. Yeah, yeah he that said. Was, that, was the big, that was my big come up. That yeah. Was like, that Yo, was, I got to give you a bell. Give me a bell. I bought a house. bell for that. That's yeah. my man. Yeah. He that's said, good. shit, the bread, I bought a house. Yeah, he jumped it off. <laughs> yeah. I bought that's one, and then yeah. it started to two. Listen, three. I didn't even just buy a house. I bought the house. Yeah. I had it sided before I moved in. All there. that shit? I had a roof put on. On it. <laughs> I had a pool put in. Just, like, yep. all of a sudden, I had 200 something thousand dollars. Damn, yeah, straight like, cash. Just, yeah, straight cash. It took cash. three days to make it. Yeah, I yeah. I just grew from... Phoenix to Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dude gave me 115 pounds of In the 90s, this was 91. Yeah, yeah that was about 92, 93. There. And I shared it with, I had a couple of my boys, we all like did things. Yeah, like, yeah. They Having helped fun. get rid of it. Yeah, and yeah. I took my family to like Disneyland. Yeah, all like, that. Yeah, 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 yeah all that. You live it, yeah. A couple hundred thousand dollars for free. Word, word. You know, That's like, official, man. That's well, a dope actually, story. Actually, it wasn't for free. It was taking a chance on yeah. going to prison somewhere along yeah, the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time I got stopped in Arkansas. I thought I was going oh, to prison. Oh, man. What'd they say? I wrote it in my book. The Way Station? I wrote a book. You, were, you wrote, wrote a, book? a book? I wrote three books. So I, you have them out? They out already? Yeah, I, I, I got a book called Public Enemy Number 420. Wow. When you read Public Enemy Number 420, there's a chapter called Buster. Yeah. I was at a truck st- at a truck DOT center, too, one time. I was busted. Like, I just knew I was getting ready to go to prison in Arkansas. Yeah, the way They was station. getting ready to search my truck. They had a dog. Mm. And my dog got out of his truck and ran across the street and got hit by a truck. Oh, my goodness. And the cops yeah. were so upset. They helped me put my dog up in the truck that I had weed in. Yeah. And 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 and, and they stopped their investigation. They felt bad for me well, and let yeah. me go. Damn. Right? And they never, yeah. really, they never wow. opened the truck. He told wow. me that shit. I was like, yeah. no. I wrote it, I wrote it in my book. He wrote it in there. In my first book. Public where the Enemy book where the book for sale at? Tell them where the books. They on Amazon. Right? They on yeah, there? It's still on Amazon. It's still there? I, put, I published that book in 2010, but it's still on Amazon. Go to Amazon. Yeah. Public Enemy number 420. Yes. There's a chapter. Called Buster. Well, actually, yes. it's a whole section about smuggling weed. Yes. And, wow. And it's, but there's one chapter that I dedicated mm-hmm. to my dog Buster, who died to keep me from going, going to, prison to prison. Yeah. In Arkansas. Wow. Think about that, y'all. Yeah. Wow. Just, when my dog got hit, I started crying. Damn. And they thought I was crying because my dog was dead. And yeah. It was. It was. But I also yeah. thought I was going, I was to, going prison to prison in prison. Arkansas. <laughs> what a dead dog. <laughs> You know, like, yeah. Listen, think about it. Getting locked up in Arkansas, nobody's visiting, nobody's yeah. like, nobody's liking me. I can see the judge give me a whole bunch of time because I'm Ar- yeah, judge. automatic. Because that's know? how it was at yeah. that time and probably now. Yeah. What's the worst state to move through state lines with? I'm still scared of the uh, South. The city, yeah, all of the South is. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio is hard. When you just said yeah. Ohio, I'm like Ohio is hard, man. <laughs> I don't know how. You know what I mean? You gotta drive the speed limit in Ohio. No, that's it, right? You yeah. go a little bit over, they on yeah. you. But mm-hmm. I, I, I've driven back and forth across the country. I, I I haven't transported weed across the country in years, though. But yeah. there was a time in the 90s, that was my thing. Yeah, you could I do sh- that. I yeah. shoot I shoot to Arizona in a minute. Every time I got $10,000, every time I got $20,000, I'd go to Arizona. Yeah, it worked. You know, and, and get me a $300, $400 pound of weed, pounds of weed. 
bring it back here, sold every one of them in Camden for 800 Yeah. 1200 to the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just put wow. it in the 90s And then like I said then, yeah. then, then the DEA came Jumped on me I went to prison in 2000 No federal bid though No They, they, yeah, the they, state, they, they turned it over state. To the, to the uh, 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 Drug and, uh, What they call DEA's, it The county yeah. High intensity drug Drug task force Yeah The Camden County one And they kind of like Threw it out kind of If you No they, Well they just the feds just pushed it off to them. I got okay. I got prosecuted in Camden County. So you did a light That's bid I, for that. Yeah, you I did, did ten. I got ten. I got, oh, you I did got ten? Flat, I got a flat ten, ten. Flat ten, yeah. I did I did eighteen first, eighteen yeah. months. I was out for five months and then I got violated on parole for five months. Then I did ISP for a couple months and then yeah. I was done. Okay. Then I got back yep. to the truck in. I transported a couple more times. Then mm -hmm. I parked my truck one day and moved to California and opened a dispensary. That's dope. <laughs> That's dope. All right, we going to my um. I know we got a couple more minutes. That y'all supposed to I probably been out of here. Yeah, we should been out here. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I mean. Uh, what is the point of being that uh being that cannabis uh cannabis god? Uh, what's the next move for empower um for the empowerment? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell people. In fact, check out the Trentonian story tomorrow. I think they'll get it right. Yeah, I'm trying to show people that like, well, I haven't capitulated. Legalization didn't come down far enough it ain't gonna touch the hood yeah you know and i th i think that the fight for legalization really ain't over yet i i'm hoping that somehow make some type of difference over the next next few weeks yeah. to, to to add at least a, a commentary a public conversation yeah about the situation that, that we're in yeah yeah just imagine Talk this for the last 40 years you know, the black market has provided 100% of the marijuana to the state's potheads, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, You don't get, nobody in the state who smokes weed gets it legally from anybody. There's a yes. few, less than 40,000 people recently mm -hmm. from medical marijuana. That's but right. But the rest, everybody, you get it illegally. Illegally, yeah, you know, that's from right. somebody, some weed man, that's right? That's right. Now they're making it legal, for say. And they're going to make these other people, these cannabaggers, I call Coming them. Coming in, just going to get wealthy. They're the only ones allowed to sell weed. And the rest of us are still going to be illegal. And we're going to be going to prison and jail. It's like, imagine, like, you know. But the people ain't speaking out for your weed, man. That's, yeah. that's one of the So what you saying. need, what would you need to have, like you just said. Follow people my ain't hashtags. Backing. That's it. Follow my hashtags you and need, you'll see my fight. You need, hashtag, you need money and backing, right? Yes. Hashtag. Sell weed like I'm white and hashtag NJ can't get 12. Those mm. are the two hashtags I want y'all to follow. That's dope. Hashtag sell weed like I'm white. Write it down. Yeah. Somebody type my it. My brother put it up there already. He put it okay. up there. Yeah. All right. And hashtag NJ can't get 12. Okay. And you follow those arguments. I can't really see y'all. Yeah, have my he don't got his on. glasses on. I can't see it. So it's and some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all <laughs> talking, and we'll probably read it after yeah. when the show go off. And we about to bounce, but I have one more question for him. What you smoking on now at this point in your life? What kind? What's the what's the flavor? Well, I ain't gonna tell about that fancy fancy package that came across the country last week. <laughs> you gonna go that far? <laughs> I'm a weed snob. I'm a weed snob. This show's over. Listen, I'm a weed snob. Yeah. Right now, I'm smoking What's the some good hash. Yeah. It came from uh, 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 the Laytonville area of, of California. So so the yeah. areas, it, it pertain yeah. on the areas what's yeah, good, yeah, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of uh, people listen, don't be listen, knowing that's that. Right, that's right outside of the Emerald Triangle. The Emerald Triangle includes a couple counties out there. Humboldt, Humboldt uh -huh. being the been most well-known. Uh, 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 Mendocino. Yeah. And, um, oh man, I forgot I the, the one where, uh, uh, Red Bluff is at. I can't remember the name of the county. But anyway, if y'all follow, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But, yeah. yeah I Give them your me Facebook. A, Give them your Facebook. It's just got to be a good package. Give them your Facebook and where to stay in contact and watch for new you know, news. I keep telling people what you need to do. Do that. Is come through the joint sometime and get a turkey burger and a fat bud. <laughs> 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 get a turkey burger. Right. Come get a turkey burger, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Come, Come get, get a turkey, turkey burger. Come get a turkey burger. That's right. And talk to me about it. Nah, I mean, on, uh, what's the show called on uh, Food Network? Our chef was on the Food Network. Yes, yes. And he yes. won chop. He won chop. He fired. Me. They say the food is pretty good. Give him the address. Wings, man. Give him the address because a lot of people do go down there. 
320 East State Street. We back open, man. Stop asking if we open or not. We're back open. We got events Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Directly Live across the street from City, City Hall. Hall. That's right. right. City Hall. April 12th, we got Voice of Myra. She's got Freestyle Fridays coming in there. That's going to be super lit. Make sure y'all come through. Check that out. 420, we're, of course... Of course, 420. That's we have right. the crazy munchy menu. Yeah, uh, just go a on, chill go vibe. On our, go on our Facebook. Go on our Facebook. Good weather. At NJ, NJ Weed Man. Man's joint. That's Tell right. Me. At That's NJ Weed Man on Instagram. Yeah. Who is D.O. on Instagram. That's right. Yeah. So, so... I ain't sure. About, I ain't sure about that 420, y'all. Don't pencil that in. Don't, yeah, don't, don't it, pen, that, don't pen that in. Don't we pen, fought for that. What's happening, Daryl? I see you up there. <laughs> yeah, we right. For that 420. What do you say? <laughs> Though Skittles, eh. Skittles like the one we had. Yeah. The one we had was like it's high. some good Kush. I, I I'm not gonna go and say it's some Skittles or some cookies. Not it's mean. a very good Kush though. It's very yeah. good. Very Is that good. our guy? Very good. Yeah. 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 Nah, right, I mean, I like to thank, thank. Smoke it up. What's up, boy? Y'all give him What's a up? thumbs up, up. Hearts and all that. You know what I mean? Check him out. Back him up. Now, I mean, he's been, he been battling for years with Shout this. I've seen that. For having us and it's all love. Platform. You feel me? You know I mean? The city is dope. Ultimate and platform. And, 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 I mean? and what I want y'all all to remember. Talk to him. I'm 38 and oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mercer County going Haiti. Yeah, yeah. All right, we out. Peace, y'all. Thanks. <laughs>